Hello, everybody. <laughs> How's everybody doing this evening there? Welcome to another edition. Crank the music a little bit. Get some going. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot better there. I wonder what was going on. I was like, man, I'm going deaf. I can't hear nothing. What's that, Lady Wolf? Hey, Thomas. Welcome, everybody, to the show. We got Debbie and everybody sliding in at last minute. So, uh, hopefully, everybody's having a great week and uh, doing pretty well. So, how's everybody on the panel doing? Good. Everybody enjoying themselves? Yep. Good, good fine. <laughs> So, uh, Mike, you missed it. Uh, I uh, went out in the woods uh, by myself. I was brave. And uh, my camera going got out. fried. Yeah, my camera got fried. And I thought I lost it. I, I lost the that. SD card. Lost all my pictures. Yeah. He's not talking uh, about his trail cam. He's talking about his digital his, camera. Was it Canon? Yeah, your digital. My, my Pentax. Wow. So, yes. It, so, it, you, it, did uh, you have a Bigfoot in the vicinity that just said zap? I I have no idea. I, I, I don't know what, what happened. I, I don't it, know. It, it wiped uh, out the card, the memory card and everything. It, it, I mean, it fried else? it all. I mean, yeah. uh, I, I, I was right before the show. I was freaking out with Chris. Uh, I thought my camera was gone. Uh, I was having a panic attack. Uh, the camera I had for years, I used on investigations on, on the, on the law enforcement side. And, uh, the memory right. card is right. a, a high right. dollar one, uh, high speed, everything. And, uh, and we actually, I actually did a segment on it about how to use memory cards and mem and, uh, marriage them to cameras, how important it is not to go from card to camera to camera to camera. Right. So, right. Uh, but uh, I lost all my pictures and some other valuable pictures. Hey, Thomas and everybody. Welcome, everybody, to the show. So, uh, recover from that. And also, I'm not going to mention, what did I just do with it? <laughs> Don't tell me. I, I got the doll right here. Well, I did have it somewhere. But anyways, uh, my trail camera came today from the manufacturer. I was going to show what oh, it looked cool. like. Awesome. Where it went to. Oh, there it is. Find me. I'm not going to mention the brand because until I fin finalize the paperwork, but uh, it's a solar power one. Oh, that's cool. Oh, cool. oh that's so, really cool. Get a little you know, light there. Not running out of battery, it's just going to run yeah. out of memory card so before it, it will. It, it comes fully charged, and uh, I haven't read the instructions or anything on it. But I uh, still got to sign some more paperwork before I mention the brand. Uh, the brand, and uh, and it looks like it's password protected, just like my other one. So uh, it's gonna be very interesting. So uh, I, it came today, so I'm very anxious to look at that and to play with that toy, and uh, of course to get that out in the woods, right? Mm -hmm. So and see what's gonna happen with that. So who knows? So what's going you on with you guys? You haven't gone back out and got your other ones, right? Yeah, you're gonna. No, I, I have not. So the pictures that I've, I've I've taken with that camera are gone. Only ones that survived is the ones that I've sent you all in Messenger. Okay. The but that's it. But what about your game? All the game cameras? No, I haven't even touched those. I told Chris okay. I wonder uh, if they're even out there. Uh, yeah. if they're fried or they're, if they got zapped. So, because I've got it set up to where if you go to one camera, I got you on other cameras. So there's no way around not getting, not getting found. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. So it's, uh, well, I don't know. I can't wait to find out if you, you know, I, I can't either. I, I told Chris <laughs> on, on, on the other show the other night, uh, I was going to dress up, and I told Thomas this, too. I was going to dress up like Rambo and put face <laughs> paint on and go out uh, guns a-blaring with double headlamps, a bunch of flashlights, and start checking them with my GPS because I was worried about them. Because, ladies and gentlemen, you don't realize how many cameras I have out in the investment, not only with yeah. the cameras, but the SD cards. 
the batteries, the rechargeable batteries. I mean, it, it, it's it's quite a bit, you know, mm-hmm. quite a bit. So, but uh, I'm trying oh, to leave yeah. them out there for at least three weeks. So is what Ryan I'm trying wants to do. To know, Grizzly, where was the camera that got fried located? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's. Yeah. Oh boy. So then there's that. So I didn't know until I got back to the house. Uh-huh. Uh, I did. I had no idea. I had no idea until I went back to the house and I went to open up the. You know how you look through your photographs on the camera, and it, and no images were there. And I'm like, "What are you talking about?" Then the camera wouldn't work, and yeah. then the batteries were dead, and the batteries were dead, and the batteries, the batteries, the batteries, the batteries, and I just put wow. new batteries in there. Remember, and I just yeah. programmed everything. And ladies and gentlemen, I've had this camera for a long time, and my camera does not eat batteries. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the, yeah, the one I hang around my neck, the ones I, it, it's right here. It's the one I didn't take my can, and I took this one, my, my Pentex one, the one I use on the 300 by 70. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, no, no, it wasn't the batteries. I, I, I put new batteries in, and still the SD card was it's gone. Uh, uh, I can't format it, it will not format uh, all the pictures that were on there from years ago, and the ones I took are gone. It just oh, that sucks. Though. Well, I, did you oh, have any I've been out with stuff. um. I was going to say, I've been out uh, in the, with uh, Miguel at uh, Sasquatch Theory, and oh, he cool. has a lot of good equipment. And I have seen him have every battery completely freshly charged on his equipment, to, only to have it go dead as soon as he starts putting it in use. Um, and and I, that's, that's why I don't bring that stuff out there. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's unexplainable, but it happens. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So, Gosh. yeah. So my cameras will not let you take pictures with the camera lens uh, dust cover on there. <laughs> Just to let you know. But so, which yeah. wouldn't explain anything else, you know, with the with the change of the date and the and the, everything being fried. You know, no, no. So. Uh, it's just it's just strange. I, I just yeah, I just cannot explain strange. it. And and I was so upset that I thought I lost a camera. Uh, because I've heard reports of, of electronics being damaged out in the field, right? Mm-hmm. And I've heard reports yeah. this year yeah. of thermals being zapped, handheld thermals. And that, oh, wow. like, wow. for me, yes, yep. I have. I yep. have five yeah, reports. Yeah, I hadn't of heard that. that. Wow. Just yes, heard five, that five reports today. across the country. Yep. Yep. And now that threw me for a loop. And I, yeah. and I told Chris, I was like, man, yeah. and it's the, if this was my Canon, and hell, I bought my Canon. Let's see, this is 2023, uh, 14 years ago, and I bought it on clearance. The body for thirty hundred dollars. So do the math on that. And yeah. so I'm, and I thought I lost. Uh, that I'm bringing a throwaway camera out there instead yeah. of bringing your expensive one. <laughs> so yeah, well, that would be. Thomas, buy, buy a three hundred dollar right. one instead, you know. So, yes. and that's exactly what I was thinking about, Thomas, is going back to use the 35, but uh, Man, damn, the film gets expensive. that is the catch. And where do you get mm-hmm. the film developed is yeah. now yeah, you got to mail it somewhere and you, now you right. got to find a location. Yeah. Yeah, you can't so, just take it to CVS or, or Walmart or anything like that now. Yeah, you can, but it's SD card in a thumb drive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm saying, yeah, yeah film yeah. and stuff you can. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, uh, get you a dark room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> get you a photo mark. <laughs> Is there photo <laughs> marks? I don't think there are photo marks anymore. Are there? They're photo no, marks. No. Uh, no. So, uh, so I do got the new trail cam. Uh, I'm waiting for the rest of the paperwork. Um, uh, that's finalized. Uh, the, the other deal with the manufacturer before I mention the brand name to make sure everything. I already signed most of the paperwork. But I will display the camera, and it, man, it looks pretty neat. And it was yeah, really hard, Mike and Barb and Chris, and like I told Chris, not to pick the most expensive one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, with all the bills and with right, so much right. technology. 
And uh, but I wanted one where the average person, you know, had the opportunity to where, hey, I wanted one of those where they can get one and it, it's affordable. Yeah. And uh, but what really attracted me to this one was it, it's solar power mm -hmm. and you can charge it, too. And it charges itself, but it doesn't have to be in direct sunlight because that's what somebody told me today. Ah, well, what happens if it's in the shade? And it's like, ha ha, technology has changed with solar panels. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, as long it as it doesn't take outside. a whole lot of, of sunlight to make that thing powerful. No, no. So, and, yeah, and look at Thomas, he's laughing. It's so, <laughs> so. But, you know, and, and so, uh, but uh, I really like the company and, uh, a couple other companies reached out, and I'm like, e nah, I don't think so. No, no, no disrespect. But uh, they watch the shows is how I got picked. And, but I don't think they watch the content of the show. I don't know how they can't watch the content. I mean, it's right there so, on the label. Uh, <laughs> because when we were discussing uh, what I was doing, they're like, do what? And I'm like, yeah, you watch the show. You told me you did. They're like. You being serious, and I'm like, yeah. They're like, oh, and I'm like, you still want in on it? They're like, yeah. Uh, can you write that up? And I'm like, yep, they're gone. So, <laughs> surprised they, but they, they did. I love to been in that corporate conference room when they're like, man, we got this nut job in Kentucky that's out there hunting for Bigfoot, <laughs> and they're like, and you're doing what? <laughs> They're probably like, well, let's roll the dice and see this guy actually catch something because then yeah. we get our name tied to that. And it's actually yeah. might bring everybody's going to be. Yep. So, they, so they do. Yeah. Yeah. So I, they do get the, the part of the rights of the footage and the images uh, off the camera. I cool. already signed that part. But there's other parts we have to work out before I name the name and the company. It is a, it is a damn checkers. Man, standing stones, really. <laughs> my, my doctor was like, where have you been? And I'm like, you don't want to know. So, uh, well, speaking of dolls, uh, Grizzly, I found something for you, and I, I couldn't help but when I saw it, I'm like, oh, I got I to gotta share this. Plus, you're talking about dressing up as Rambo for Halloween there. <laughs> yes, Cliff. Um, People have captured so. me. Captured. Oh, Officially, Lord. scariest <laughs> Halloween decorations I've ever seen. It's got all these dolls lined oh, up, some body yeah. bags on top. Like, I think this would be perfect for you, Grizzly. I you would use run over dolls. the damn things in my car. <laughs> every one of them. <laughs> oh, so, man. Anyway, I thought creepy. that was cool. I'm like, I got to yeah. share that to Grizzly. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, have you all seen the news and everything? About Mexico, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. about the alien. Is this is this true or is this another I fake news? I, 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 don't I don't know. I don't. I don't believe anything. I they they are like see out petrified there, right? or something. But I don't know. Are they are yeah, they paper mache? Or reminds me of the MIA plane songs. You know, <laughs> remember that song? <laughs> hey Russell, welcome to the show. Hi, nice Russell. to have you. Um, is this? What I didn't remember the was it the Mexican president? The president did he say that he was acknowledging them or or was yeah the government them? did they're like man they're but, the so, but that's they're, like they're in on the conspiracy you know. over a what is that like I want to say that's a couple months old but is this something new or is this yeah like, oh, today at three o'clock it hit it hit the damn news Here, they displayed the body. But, Oh, wait. I yeah, my phone during the live show was like, rah, 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 rah. I was like, damn, I'm like, we had a nuclear war or something? <laughs> Did somebody find Bigfoot on the side of the road and clean the body? I mean, I really thought something would happen. So, but so yeah, they had them in cases and everything. And does they anybody were just playing them. Is this an older, like, is this, oh, whoa. Oh, no. They're supposedly they got them in these cases, but they're supposedly like petrified. Yes, it they found like, them. Does that not look like ET? Yeah, yeah, and so like that makes me. Oh my god, I don't know about this. 
that say there we go. I, doesn't just that like, look like ET? I, I, mm, I don't yeah, know. I, I just, but here, here, here's the thing, though, and, and this, okay. let's be realistic. Who has damn seen a damn alien? True. I mean, so. I mean, I'm not yeah. saying it's real or fake. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, know what I'm saying? But who, who's not mm -hmm. seeing? I mean, yeah. look at that girl they found from the Ice Age. Yeah. I mean, she was preserved yeah. like almost like she just died. And they're still mm -hmm. doing tests on her. This kind of looks yeah. like it could have been like a fifth grader like science class. Paper mache. That's why yeah. I said yeah. the song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I, I just don't, what, I don't know. Yeah. They're now, trying to say that, they're fossils is what they are. Now, wouldn't that be the crap if they can turn out and then and they were real and we were like, what the hell? So, but oh, why would the government the roll out this and like ta da? Exactly. So I don't know. Why would they? Who, kno who knows? Who knows? governments. I know. Who knows why like governments do what they do anyway? It's like. Right. So. But why would you? Oh, let me ask you this, Mike. Why the Mexican government? Yeah. Well, any they get any a lot of sightings down there. Any, any government is, um, I mean, they're all, you know, I'm sure they're no more trustworthy than ours. No, they're I mean, with that channel. Maybe, maybe they're not. <laughs> <laughs> but they were proud. They were rolling them out on carts and they had their, I, I don't want to say flags on them, but they had them covered and. Right. So I, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. So Before, how many did they show? Did they show just the one or two? Or two? And did they look the same? Or yeah. I, I don't know. I've been so busy with shows yeah. and my phone yeah. <laughs> phones were blowing up. And mm -hmm. so I was talking I'm on just a video with conference the, call before I was on the show. With the AI technology that's out there, you're going to be seeing a lot of things that, that even look more realistic than art. So yep. I, I just... Yep. Yeah. I'm skeptical I about everything these days. I know. Except I know. Bigfoot's I mean, existence. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that's the problem. Well, that, yeah. That's the problem. But, but, if but somebody thing, shows me right now a Bigfoot, Mike, Chris, Barb, here's a Bigfoot. Yeah, yeah, Are we yeah. going to know it's real or not? Right. Mm -hmm. Nope. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. No, you, you're not You're not going to really know for sure. Now, 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 you get the pictures that Barb posts. You know, we know Barb. You know, right, and and we know where you know where, where Barb lives and so forth. So, so I'm going to look at those. But anything that just comes out there, you've got to you've got to look at it with scrutiny because mm -hmm. you, you don't know. Yeah, take everything with a grain of salt. Exactly, you want. That's why I tell so, people all the time when it when it comes to Bigfoot, I said you just you could get out and find your own evidence. Yes. Yes. Because somebody said um, on the other show about like if 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 they found a body of Bigfoot today, right? And it's like okay, here we're gonna do I don't know, let's say an autopsy lot, you know. And if this is definitive proof, would we stop doing what we're doing? I wouldn't. No. Would you guys? I would. Yeah, because I yeah. I mean, so much you, more to understand, you know. You know. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I, again, I feel, and I've said it uh, quite a few times, I believe th they've even proved the existence already. Shake, shake, I, think shake. I think we're beyond oh, yeah. that. Shake, right? shake, shake. Yeah. Shake your yeah. booty. Yeah. <laughs> that song, you know, is stuck in my mind now. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and I say yeah. that as well. It, to, to me, it's been proven. It's been proven yes. over and over and over again. Uh -huh. and, and, yep. and, you know, we're trying to, we're trying to learn more and more about who they are, what they are, what they're about, mm -hmm. and and yeah. and so forth, and and you you know you find new clues and new answers, you know, every week. So right. Mm -hmm. So does anybody know um, what was what? Uh, yeah, they are. They're very small, like dolls, like deworm said. Um, is is uh, does anybody know where they supposedly, or where do they find them? Did they say? It was in the too much detail. In a tomb, uh, I want to say, uh, from one of the articles I read briefly, was in a pyramid or something, a catacomb or something. Oh. And somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Someone, the fact checkers. I'm, I'm reading uh, the article now. 
But Mike, let me ask you this. Now we're getting reports and it's been validated by somebody in the community and across the country that there are Bigfoots that are robots. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that? This is saying hey, these Bigfoots that are recovered robots. in Peru. Yes. Oh, Peru. No. The bodies were recovered in underground in what Peru was your... in 2017. What was, oh, what the That's hell? That's weird. So why did they, why was today the day? Hmm. Why didn't the Peruvian government release it? Yeah, yeah. Why did the Mexican government? Right. So many yeah. questions. Hmm. I mean, mm. you know, it's cool. You want to believe it, but I, I and maybe it is true. Just. It's, it's a little odd. I don't know. I, I, you know, anything out there is possible. I mean, we're not going to mm-hmm. sit there and say nothing, you know, just totally hoax or whatever. Anything yeah, is possible. Sure. But, right. but you yeah. have to really, really, you know, question, scrutinize, you know, see yeah. what's up with it as much as you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's hard for us to trust our government for, what, how many years they say, no, no aliens exist, no aliens exist. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, oh, yeah, by the way, aliens exist. So which is it? All right, you're you're obviously liars. So right. How do we trust anything going? <laughs> so many point, things right? we know that they're liars. Yeah. That darn genius. So what do you think about that, Grizzly? You okay? You asked the question about Bigfoot robots. Um, yes. There was a novel written. Um, there is an author. Um, I'm trying to think of the guy's name now. Um, um, off the top of my head, he, he's written a lot of. Um, He's written a lot of Christian-based books. Uh, Frank Peretti. I don't know if anybody's oh. familiar with, with I, the yeah. work of Frank Peretti. A lot of Christian-based books. But he also wrote a book about a novel, um, probably came out about 15 years ago, called Monster. And that novel was about a couple. It was fiction, but it was about a couple that uh, hiking in the uh, Idaho mountains and, and the young couple and the wife went missing and she was kidnapped by a female Sasquatch. And the female Sasquatch had lost her baby to what turned out to be a robotic monster of a Bigfoot that was oh, created wow. by some mad scientist out there. Oh, and wow. it, it, it was a really, really, if you get a chance to read the novel Monster uh, by Frank Peretti, it came out about 20 years ago. So it's very, it's a real good novel. Real, And he really took time to be a really accurate about the habits that we know of a Bigfoot as far as wow. they're concerned. And in the end of the show or the end of the novel, the, the, the climax was that Papa Bigfoot beat up the monster robot Bigfoot and the wife was returned to her oh, husband yeah. and, mm. and, you know, happy ending on that. But, but that, but they were talking about, you know, Frank Peretti was writing about that 20 years ago in a fiction novel. But why do you write about that in a fiction novel if you don't get, you know, have an inkling that there might be something like that going on? Because I teach English, I teach literature for a living, and most of those fiction writers throughout the history of the country, they wrote about true stories. They just changed the names and called it fiction. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Um, I don't, well, I don't doubt the possibilities, Grizzly Chris, on that at all. That's that's or, Terminator or, or, or. crap. That's yes. what art that imitates is. life and life in, imitates art, right? <laughs> so, I mean, but I, yeah. I was telling Chris this the, the other day right. on the show. Exactly. It, it's like stuff that we were watching. Yes. When I was growing up, is becoming reality, just like Star Trek and mm-hmm. other science fiction, you know, mm-hmm. shows with our parents and so yeah. forth. Right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And yes. uh, but we're having people that are in the right. community coming forward and and saying, yeah. We know about it. And I'm, I'm like, mm-hmm. okay. And it's just not one person. It's numerous people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, And they're not talking to each other. They're just saying, yeah, we know about it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. Crazy, right? Yeah. Uh, Robin mentioned that during her last interview. Yeah, I thought she did. Wait, did she? she yeah. Yeah, she, she did. did. Yes. Val yeah. mentioned I- it. Old Bear mentioned it. 
<laughs> Four other people mentioned it to me uh, a week and a half, two weeks prior wow. during that time period leading up to all this other stuff. And I really didn't. I was like, I'm like, yeah, OK, right. You know, I, I'll, I'll listen. But when you start hearing, this is where Chris and I was talking, when you start hearing, you know, and we talked about this with one of the guests in, uh, in our audience, when you start hearing stuff that are similar across the nation or the world, mm-hmm. the similarities, that's when you start to pay attention. Right. Right. And well, smoke, there's now, fire, right? And now mm-hmm. you got some validity to sink yes. your teeth into. Yeah, exactly. And now you start paying attention exactly. to what people are listening. Because these people are not saying, hey, Mike, today you're going to tell Grizzly this no. is what you're going to say. Bar. Yeah. Okay, next week, you're going to call Grizzly. You're going to tell <laughs> what Mike's going to say to Grizzly, but you're going to change it a little bit. That's not what's no. going on, like because these no. people do not know each other. Yes. Yeah. Which is really, yeah, There's, super interesting. And I'll say the more, the more I look at world events, the country, things that are actually going on, there's a whole lot more out there going on than we know about. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. I agree. Yeah, I agree. there there actually is. Yeah. So uh, we had a show with uh, Lala, Enchanting uh, Insights with Lala last night, and she had some very heavy hitters. Mm, uh, that yeah, knows that Bob cool. Lazar and worked mm-hmm. at Area 51, uh, high-ranking cool. officials with the yeah. government. And uh, uh, I'm not going to name drop because they're her guest. Uh, but... Uh, I was just like, wow. Like, I know. Wall, just listen. I was like, oh, my gosh. I mean, every, I mean people wow. weren't even talking in the chat. They were no, like. No, no. Uh-huh. That was me. I definitely was. You know, that. and I mean, somebody was like, are, are you, is it my, can, can, can y'all see my comments? And, and, and I know everybody's like, shut the hell up. We're trying to listen. <laughs> <laughs> because somebody was like, uh, we're trying to listen to the conversation. Yeah, yeah, you know, they, they were, around. they were very polite, <laughs> yeah, you know. Exactly. Yeah. We're, yeah. yeah. And yeah, uh, because we were all like, you know, because when we first come on, I was like, oh, that's an SR-71 Blackbird. He's like, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah. It's a blah, blah, blah. And I hand took that plane apart and put it back together by hand. I'm like, do what? He's like, yeah. And he, and he was telling me before the show what he did and all I was like, do what? And then he had Bob Lazar's W2 and I'm like, do what? <laughs> and he was like, yeah. And then he told me who he met and how he got in trouble. And I'm like, look, he's, he, he's talking about this on the show. And I'm like, mm-hmm. And then, I know. And, I was like, oh, are you guys and Deborah was like, I knew he was telling the truth from day one. Everything in my bones told me he was telling the truth. And everybody made fun of me. And I'm like, oh my God, where I'm going to be, I'm going to be fishing. I'm just swimming with the fishes. And <laughs> I'm going to be dead. And and this guy is at Area 51 camping out. And I think I mentioned the security group that gave him hell. And uh, they made a phone call. And Evidently, they traded IDs. You know, he was a smart aleck, but they end up giving the captain and giving his personal driver's license to this guy. And they went back to I forgot what kind of armored vehicle, and they're like, "Here you go, sorry." Mm-hmm. And he had a map showing where the public lines were, and and he still has his security clearance to this day. And when they found out who this guy was with his friend. He was the first person that took a picture of the F-17 stealth bomber or the stealth fighter. And he damn near wrecked his car doing it. So, yes. Yeah, uh, it was, it was just story. amazing. Yeah. Oh, man. Was, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then we had Robert, the, vo- the vo- voiceover guy, right? The, the, I mean, he, I mean, I, I mean, you can just shut, yeah. shut your eyes. Yeah. You can picture great all the commercials. To yeah <laughs> you know and i'm just like whoa and i'm like you know and they're, and they're just talking about their you know ufo experiences where the car got picked up in the back church parking lot in yeah. the middle of the air and i'm like yeah, yeah. just you know yeah, yeah. i'm like no big deal like oh my gosh what <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so what was, yeah, what was the mm. thing, guys? That um, and I wanted to look it up, but I forgot. I forgot, and then I just you know um, that they were saying that was released yesterday. That was a uh, some statement that somebody had made. Do you know it? That it was. Um, I can't it, remember. They they oh, talked about so much. 
I'm gonna let me look that up because I they I uh they uh I know uh Jim oh, it, was, it was the Jim, uh Jim the said remote this remote viewing Jim oh. said this that something's going to happen at an approximate date and he's gonna know twenty four to forty eight hours before it happens. And it's it's gonna shock the world or make the world come to a standstill. And I'm like, hmm. I'm like, don't stop now. I'm like, you know, you know what I wanted to say. Remind me of that ACDC song, right? But <laughs> nobody laughed. Uh, Mike did. <laughs> Mike got it. Okay. Wait, what? Which? I don't know. Which you shook me all night long. Oh yeah, yeah. So, it takes a lot to get Mike to laugh. I got him to laugh. Oh my God. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, what it was mean? just like, you know, it was just like, it was just common knowledge, you know, to them. And, and they talk like this every day to each other. Yeah. And, you know, and I just sat there. I didn't know what to say because I was like, you know, I knew some of, but a lot of stuff I didn't know. But it was, they're very nice people to speak with. Very nice. And man, like, yeah. So knowledgeable. Wow. Gosh. So, yeah, they were. But uh, so what's going on in your Bigfoot world, Mike? Well. I thought you was going um, back to your gifted again, area. <laughs> I haven't been back there. We, well, we've had, had, I had to miss last week. I had family things going on. A lot of family things going on that have keep me from doing the things I want to do. One of those, I'll just mention, uh, my father-in-law did pass away this morning, and that has been an issue. Oh, and, uh, my I'm wife sorry, started my way wife. back from Kentucky. Sorry, she was able to be with him for his last uh, three days. And so, but that was that was one thing. And it was expected. We're not um, going to, you know, I, I'm not saying that for sympathy. I'm just saying those are one of just one yeah, of the well, things that's that been kind of keeping right. me preoccupied. No, because we've been absolutely. Yeah. trying to take care of him from 250 miles apart. Uh, yeah. He's actually closer to you, Grizzly. He's a Glasgow, Kentucky. I should have had you come down oh, and yeah. check on him once in a while. But, mm -hmm. yeah. but mm -hmm. that that being that being said, that being said, I've talked to some people this week um, that I mentioned having being up at um, St. Charles, suburban St. Louis, with my dad uh, a, a couple of months ago, and and having some vocalizations and so forth. And I've got some people up in that area contacting me about other activity that they're starting to see in that area. So I'm going to have to get back up there this fall. And I had, um, a, a gen I conversed with a gentleman who, uh, had a, had a sighting, you know, 40 year hunter, 54 years old, uh, comes across, you know, a nine foot tall Bigfoot at about 45 yards away. He raises his gun to shoot it. This Bigfoot starts going nuts, yelling, screaming, growling. He said, and then as soon as I lowered my, then I, he goes, I got, it scared me. He goes, because I thought three or four steps he could be on me and I'm not going to kill him with what I've got. He goes, so I lowered my gun. And as soon as I lowered my gun, that thing just totally calmed down. He oh, got wow. chill. And then walked wow. away. Wow. And and so I'm trying to, and I just got, I, I just conversed with that person today. So I'm going to try to get some more information out of him. Um, and, and I want to mention something else too. Um, I, I don't really, there's, there's a lot of YouTube channels out there. There's a lot of Facebook pages out there that deal with Bigfoot. <laughs> and, and um, there's one particular Facebook page. It has a lot of, it's one of the first ones I joined several years ago because I didn't, I didn't know anything else. But it's got a lot of negativity with it and a lot of non-believers on there. The, the name of the face, mm -hmm. I just call them out. It's Bigfoot Believers. Uh, so mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. still yeah, on that page. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and I normally, normally ignore it, but I saw somebody just um, yesterday post a legitimate question mm -hmm. and then just started getting the business from the comments, you know, just yep. the, the negativity. And I mm -hmm. thought, yeah. And, yeah. and, and, and then the, the, the guy says something to the effect. He says, well, I, I got on here to try to, he goes, you know, all you guys are doing is giving me grief. And, and so I, <laughs> I just made a comment on there and I normally don't comment on that. I said, Hey, look, I said, there are a lot of other pages out there 
that this stuff yeah. does not take place. Mm-hmm. I said, if you would like, I said, I would be glad to personal message you the names of some pages because I don't want to put, you know, on competing Facebook pages. Right. So yeah. he said, yeah, please do that. And then the comments, you know, at the end of the day, like eight to 10 people are coming. Can you please share those with me? Can you please share those with me? <laughs> so Barb, you're going to get a bunch of new ads. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> I, good. I, I said, no drama. I said, no, no, dra- no drama. <laughs> um, and, and as far as national pages, uh, Daryl Denton's page, Bigfoot Believers, as these are two of the best mm-hmm. nationally. Uh, I know mm-hmm. a lot of us, mm-hmm. I've got a regional, I'm with a regional page. Chris yep. has a regional page, but I thought it would start yep. with the two national pages. Mm-hmm. And, and so we, we had, um, yeah, I had like tell said 10 people just wanting to know what's another page besides this one. Where can I go to? Where can I go to? And, mm-hmm. and, um, so people out there want to know, uh, they want to share the truth. They want to know the truth without getting yep. ridiculed. And I thought I'd just kind of share that out there as well. But, um, well, uh, believe me, we can, this stuff behind us, I'll, I'll be, I'll, I've got mm-hmm. spots to go. I'll be out in the woods come October and in November and so yeah. on. So. Yeah. We all, we all have connections with pages. Yeah. Grizzly's got one. Barb's got a great one. Mike's got a great one. We have yeah. a great one. None of us yeah. tolerate. No, you know, no. You know, anything there like was, that. Um, I mean, a woman that no, is she's no. becoming pretty famous and she's great with, um, I'm not going to say what she's, becoming known for um but she was posing a question um oh she got really mad at me that i felt like didn't need to be posed if you're gonna pose it don't (laughs) pose this question on my page you're not gonna do it so she's so i commented on another page what i thought and um so then she immediately messaged me and why did you remove my comment like that's a valid question no it's actually not because I'm not really sure what you're doing on the page if you are essentially saying that you don't Bigfoot, believe it. it. You know, I mean, or like all these things that people are all these photos, everything's you know paradoia, and then no, that, you're on the wrong page, honey. That's not yeah. even happening because <laughs> no, that's yeah. yeah we kept having one guy. And, and you saying, look oh, at a yeah, lot of oh, these things. Mm-hmm. Do it. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. And and you take like Bar a lot of a lot of the photos that Bart puts up. And, and I don't always see the faces in those photos. Mm-hmm. Of course, I I may not have, you know, but then all of a sudden out, uh, you know, they'll get enhanced or I'll put them on my bigger screen or my computer, and there they yeah. are. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And and people are sharing things like that. And you know, if I'm looking at it on my phone, I can't see the picture. If yeah. I blow it up on my laptop at 14, 15 inches, I can see the, the picture. Or I can start, hey, there's the eyes. I know what I'm looking for. Your average person may not necessarily see that, but don't ridicule a person trying to share what they've got because, because you know, a lot of it is, you know, very legitimate. And and I, I remember uh, my buddy, old Steve, Steve Nabowski, and uh, he's – he showed me on this was four or five years ago. We started, I guess it's three years ago we started doing this and went for because I've only been doing it for three. He says, This spot on Google Earth has six Bigfoots in the picture. And he shares it with me. And I look at it on my phone. I don't see them. I say, Oh, those are dead. dead. Yeah, I, I can't tell it. I go to my 14 inch laptop computer and it's like a bigger blur. I can't see them. I, he, I'm like, Steve doesn't know what he's talking about. Then I'm in school and I can project the computer to an 80 inch smart board. And when I project that picture on the 80 inch smart board, I see six heads, six shoulders, six sets of shoulders, six arms. And I see the six big foot pretty clear. Whoa. Like, wow, he went lying. And so, wow. um, but a lot of people, you know, they're looking at things on their phones and they're like, this is a hoax mm-hmm. and blah, blah, blah. They, they think they know, you know, or the other comment that it's like people put tree structures. Oh, the, the weather does that all the time. Well, no, it doesn't. Yeah. How many times have you seen no. the weather make a symmetrical X? 
Yeah. Or a <laughs> with teepee. Two 30 foot, a teepee. With, with two 30 foot logs. Yeah. Or, or the teepee. Or, or people, yeah. People, people are out there in the woods doing that stuff all the time. No, they're not because people aren't <laughs> going to the woods as much anymore. Yeah, and, <laughs> and that's going to take and, a long time. You know, the four of us have gone places that people just aren't out there doing things. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, yep. Yep. And um, it, you know, so, mm -hmm. but you got to look at everything with when you go out, examine all the evidence. Could the weather have done this? Mm-hmm. And then when the answer is no, could people have done this? And then with the, when the answer is no to that, not without heavy equipment, mm -hmm. then what could have done this? Yeah. And usually, I tell people, usually if you think the answer is Bigfoot, you will also find other evidence besides the structure. You'll see mm -hmm. footprints. You'll hear a knock or a whoop from the area saying, hey, we got eyes on you. You know that type of stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway. Yeah, you're that's, that's absolutely right. True, Mike. Well, and I'll be honest with you, Mike and Chris, and I talked about it on a show uh, where I was out in the woods with my camera. I can take a picture here. I can take a picture here, but not here. I uh -huh. can take a picture yeah. here, come back, not here. Now, with digital cameras, our eyes are like camera lenses. And on an automatic setting, it calculates the shutter speed, the ISO, all the calculations that a manual camera does as a professional photographer. So if there's a leaf, a tree branch, whatever in front of me, and I'm trying to take a distant shot, it's not going to zoom in, right? It's going to be out of right. focus. Yeah. So there are a lot of factors. And I talk to professional photographers and people that sell cameras. And I'll talk about this on one of the shows. There are a lot of many factors involved in taking photographs with these new cameras, digital cameras that are on the market. Lala. Not only that, hey, Lala, thank you. Not only that, is that too, we have to understand that we know that these creatures or whatever you want to call them have some type of energy uh, interference with electronics. We know yeah. that. We've yeah. seen it. We have reports of it. Their frequencies, the energies they give off, people tell us they get sick. Robin, uh, everybody, yeah. uh, we hear reports, whether it's infrasound or whatever it is, uh, what, you know, radiation levels right. and areas where they are at, they're electronics, you know. Uh, a safety device. I used to be a fire instructor from the Commonwealth of Kentucky. I was the third ranking fire instructor for 13 years. I ranked number three. Uh, a safety device on a farm is a, a, me a mechanical device that sometimes may fail. That is what a definition of a safety device. So electronics will fail. Okay. Not only that, batteries. Explain to why my batteries got drained when they were brand new. Okay, now usually if there's a problem yeah. with a set of batteries, it's a lot of batteries. It's not just four mm -hmm. out of 24. It's a strong or string that are manufactured between lot A124, between Z34, between 12 o'clock on this day, between 12 o'clock on this day to 5 o'clock this day. These batteries are shot. They're not something's wrong right we see it with food we see it with cars that are manufactured you know so there's a lot of things that can go wrong now when we take all the electronics and things out just like brian says and go back to the mechanical cameras this is where we're not having the issues you know the 110s the 35s the real up cameras the 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 the, the patty films you know that's why we have such good good photographs yeah. now do we have good photographs of trail camera pictures yes we do i've seen them i have people during this year and last year that there. showed me evidence mm -hmm. they think they're worth millions of dollars yeah. or they're mm -hmm. afraid to show them because they don't <laughs> want people to come out and hunt them and destroy their things that they've been living with for years or yeah. generations 
Yep. You know, I have people that will not right. sell their property because they're afraid of their relationship. What's going to happen to them if, if somebody else moves in? So there are a lot of factors, ladies and gentlemen, that goes into, you know, going out there. And I use the analogy, uh, take your phone and go out there and take a picture of a squirrel jumping from tree to tree. Good luck. Yeah. Take a picture yeah. of a rabbit yeah. running, you know, from tree line to tree line. You know, I used to rabbit hunt, you know, try to shoot a running rabbit, ladies and gentlemen. It's not that easy. Good luck. Okay? Good luck. I don't yeah. care if it's 12, 20, 16, whatever, 10 gauge. Well, you yeah, yeah. 10 gauge, but, you know, uh, a 410 right. or whatnot, good luck. Yeah. You know, right. so there's there's a lot of factors involved when it, when it comes to taking video and pictures. Now, a lot of the pictures and stuff that we do see, right, especially the older ones, are the ones that are people that don't know that they're there. Mm -hmm. that they're filming themselves out in the woods and six months later they're like dude did you see what's walking behind you they're like no look at that and it's the old vc uh, vhs tapes the cvhs tapes you know the cassettes and so forth uh you know that you see the shadows you see something moving and, and so forth like that and uh so there there are credible videos and pictures out there but no matter how well we get the perfect picture it's not going to be good enough for anybody just like the aliens right uh that's been released out in the media you know i don't know what a dead one looks like ladies and gentlemen i'm sorry you know does it look real <laughs> well, they look I'm pretty not small, don't they? so yeah. you know I, I don't know what they look like so I, I mean it's not like i go out my back door i'm like hey you want a peanut butter cup you know i'm sorry <laughs> I, I i can't answer that so yeah. but <laughs> when people go to these facebook groups to make comments you know uh, i want to make a comment so bad right now i'm trying to restrain myself chris there's somebody that contacted us that we want to speak with and it's got one hellacious story that will make your jaw drop. And uh, and hopefully this person will allow us to tell his story and let him to tell his story sometime in the near future. It is mind blowing. It is that that surreal and truthful. I I, I do believe. And once you hear. And I told him, you're not alone. And I told Chris, if you look at the consistency of his age compared to the other people's ages with this, the story that he is saying, that he doesn't know he's not alone because mm -hmm. it's evident. And uh, and who is that one guy that used to pick berries with him? Uh, oh, Lynn Gaspar. Lynn, Ga yeah. Lynn Gaspar, Lynn. yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. okay. Yeah. So he's a little bit younger Lynn, than Lynn him. Yes, bear. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. I mean, but you know, when we hear stories of like this, I mean, this story goes a lot further than that, and I mean, it's just wild. So nothing is ever going to be good one. enough. I mean, it it really will be, and and that's the problem. And you got to have an open mind, ladies and gentlemen. And my thing is, and whether it's my group, her group, Mike's group, Chris's group, anybody's group, whether you believe or not believe, button it up, okay? Because this guy is on the fence whether he wants to come forward or not. Mm -hmm. And he yeah. sees people being crucified. And people like that that see stuff like that doesn't want to tell their stories. I mean, you look at Brian. Of course not. Right. It took him right. over 30 years to tell his story. Look at a few mm -hmm. other people that we interviewed, yeah. all of us David together. Che David Cheeley's, if you go on that Smithsonian website on the, the YouTube and go down to the comments, there's thousands and thousands of comments, and there's so many negative ones. And there's no call for that. That guy took heat for all these years same yeah, thing it, you said brian yeah. is a good example it, so people hold on to because they're, they're scared well, we, to we have no need to 
we have an example right here. It took Barb six to eight months to come on with me. Yeah, because oh, because yeah. yeah. we had, we had I, talked I, for that. I was time. so terrified when I, I did because I was like, I, no I, one's gonna I believe said, me. I look like a lunatic. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but and but, then a star was born, just God, like that. A star I, was born. You know, <laughs> know but <laughs> yeah, we all try to just, provide <laughs> platforms for people mm -hmm, to yeah. come in a safe place yeah. to Absolutely. feel comfortable yes. to yeah. say yeah. that. Right. Wow. Yeah. I'm not alone and I'm not crazy. I am having experiences I can't understand. And, you know, I can relate to other people. And I can mention several names that I've introduced to the society and to the community that had no idea about a lot of stuff. And, and it changed this person's world for life. And this person had no idea. And everybody yeah. know who I'm t who I'm talking about. I'm not going to name the person, but it's just because of us giving people the opportunity to associate and get things off their chest and share their stories. And yeah, yeah. you know, like I tell people that you know talk to me off the record, right? And tells me, you know, well, my neighbor or my aunt or my brother's cousins or my mom or whoever. You know, I always tell them, listen, you know, don't crucify them. Don't pass judgment, you know, uh, but I, I think they have mental issues. Well, they, they may have. Uh, and, and don't discount that because there is a lot of mental health problems in the world. But when we start doing that to people and put them in categories, you know, and, and Chris and I talked about this on shows. And I brought it up tonight again when Mike, Barb, and Chris, we all live in different parts of the states, and we're all hearing all these different kinds of stories from all these different people. We can't discount that. Right. There's some validity to it. And that's what's important is we take the totality, right? And this is where I tell the, told the guy tonight what I told you before the show uh, about a possibility about something is that when you're in a field, and you are been in a field for a while, you use certain phrases and key terms and you articulate a certain way. And that's when you call analysis. And that's when I used to dissect a lot of people's interviews and statements. And that tells me a lot. And, and that leads me to what directions I will lean towards or not. But I'm not going to tell somebody to their face, I don't believe you. Because if they do have a mental health issue problem or they're not taking their medicine, I don't want to set them off and them cause right. themselves self-harm. And uh, and I don't want to be responsible for that, right? You know, nobody believes me and I'm I'm, I'm alone. And, and I've seen that happen, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I've dealt with that in law enforcement, you know. And, and I don't want to maintain and res being respectful, too, you know. And I don't want to go down that road because yeah. I've seen, you know what happens to people that people that don't believe people or people yeah. and family members get shunned down to family. So I respect everybody's opinion. I may not agree with it, but that stays within, within Grizzly. You know, I'm not going to come on the air or go in a group and say, this girl, Barb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. She's got little <laughs> nuns running around throwing holy water everywhere, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but you know, you need to support people and yeah i may not agree with a lot of things that people may think in other groups and so forth but you know what that's your business mm -hmm. that's your belief we're all here for the same common good in the same thing in the community in the common cause and and that's where people are losing sight of things and this is where yeah. my heart gets broken yeah. Is because it's me, 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 and not you, 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 you. No, it's us, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. You know? So it's, it's like the us. big egos that I know better than all of you, you know, and don't don't tell me how that they're not apes or they're that they're not dimensional beings or that, you know, that's a blurry picture. Obviously, that's I, not I, that. I don't think any, anybody's an expert in this, right? No. Yeah. Right. But, but the people you know. And it, it just, nope. it, yeah, it, nope. it does a disservice. 
does a it, disservice. It really does, you know. And I mean, and Mike, and, and I tell you, I, I use you a lot. Uh, I, I told a paranormal guy during a paranormal show, and I used Brian during a paranormal show in this uh, famous paranormal investigator, ghost hunter, lost his crap on my on my show. He was like, you're joking. And I'm like, no. Yeah. And he's like, what? And I'm like, he's like, no, <laughs> man. And he's like, there ain't no way. I'm like, no, Wait, I'm no. telling you. I'm telling Wait, you, no. it's, it's happening. <laughs> and man, then we took a, a paranormal ghost investigator show into a Bigfoot show, and this guy lost his crap on, on the air. And my co-host was like, <laughs> uh, sorry, Tracy. I mean, <laughs> I, I, he brought it up tonight again. He was like, man, I was floored. I, I mean, I had no idea. I've been camping. I've been camping. I've been camping. I'm going <laughs> to you gotta go back to Chris and do all these clips, right? We gotta have that little <laughs> thing. But and I mean, this guy was like flipped out, you know. And then it happened again tonight. And and uh, Greg Ghost, uh, the Squatch Man, got brought up. And I'm like, yeah. And I was like, ask him about the Goat Man, the pop, the Pope like monster. And he's like, oh, I've seen the tracks. I've seen the tracks. And I told him a little bit about the story. So he's coming to he's coming to Kentucky on October seventh, and I just realized I got a conference I'm going to, and I can't make it. But I mean, he was like, you know, star stuck too about Bigfoot. He's like, I had no idea. I said, because you're in the paranormal world, get out and open up. You know, and the guy I'm not going to mention what house he owns up in Buffalo, yeah. a famous house that people go to and paranormal investigates. Oh. And people are camping out and and renting out rooms, and they're like, "There's something living in the woods, and <laughs> it's throwing rocks at us, and it's scaring the hell out of us. What is it?" And he's like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> and, and, and he's like, "Dude, we got cryptids. We got cryptids." <laughs> And he's like, hey. like yeah. <laughs> and he's like, I had no idea. And I'm like, yeah, hello. Your place yeah. is out in the middle of the woods. Just because you're in New York doesn't mean you're not going to have an opportunity. To, I mean, now he's got issues because these uh, Bigfoot or Sasquatches and whatever else he's having problems <laughs> with don't like these a lot of people going. I guess they're doing things in the woods that they shouldn't be doing, ladies and gentlemen. Wandering <laughs> off or whatnot, but yeah. Anyways, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. So now yeah. he's uh, now he's doing uh, Bigfoot investigations. He's starting to get into that field oh, now. So okay. that was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, got his attention. Didn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He he was like he 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 really thought people were going crazy. He's like, man, what's wrong with these campers? I mean, they're hearing things or noises in the woods. He's like, man, we got animals. It's woods. Like, no, nah, man, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't kind of animal I never heard of. <laughs> <laughs> it's always amazing people that are like familiar with paranormal, you know, but they're like, I don't think I believe in cryptids. Like, wait, I know, right, right, <laughs> right. Kind of run hand in hand, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see the vice versa yeah. if you think they're just big apes, but um. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's what uh, you know. Uh, one of them when they when he saw that member because I was trying to get a hold of Barb. I'm sorry, Barb. Yeah, no, I tried okay. to get a hold of Barb, yeah. and Barb wouldn't answer yeah. her phone because she was in the shower. <laughs> so I'm trying to get a hold of Chris, and I'm like, because the guy I was like, dude, have you ever seen a Bigfoot cloak? And he was like, no, show me. And I was like, damn, he called me out on the air. So I'm like, look, at it. I can't find it. I'm like, what the hell? So I'm not. calling everybody. I'm like, I need the video. I need the video. I'm, I'm live on the air. And I'm like, go to Barb Shoop's, uh, you know, YouTube. So he's on there. He's all right. He does it while we're on the air. And I'm, I'm hearing the video. I'm like, oh, he's found it. He's like, now, what am I looking for? I'm like, you got it right there. Look by the tree, by the vine. And I hear the verbiage. I hear, I hear her. What was that? Did you see that? I'm like, it's right there. He goes, I don't see nothing. Now I'm oh like, oh. so then I freak out. So I, they finally, Chris got it. Barb, Barb, get out of the shower. I, you know, it was like, <laughs> I, I'm in the shower. What do you want? You know, <laughs> but uh, the guy flipped him out when he saw that. Tracy's like, dude, he said, 
I don't know what to do about going in the woods now. Yeah. He was like, that's how damn movie Predator. I was like, yeah. no, I, does that's nobody not take Predator my word stuff right there. about anything Grizzly says? It's okay. like nobody believes anything I say. Nobody. We do. We believe you. But, I mean, we it flipped him out. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Trace is like, Trace, like, you know how many times I've been in the woods and I heard stuff and I didn't say anything? I mean, he was talking about that before the show today. <laughs> Yep. You know, yep. I was like, dude, that's like, you never know. You, you don't think okay. about it. You just think how oh, you must be hearing something, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, but yeah, it, right, it's, right. It, it's wild. It really is. It's wild. You I know, just like that. And some knocks last time I went out. That was, that was pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. Out the woods yeah, and, yeah, yeah. I heard the whoops and not, I was by myself, but it seems like when, you, when you're out there by yourself, you hear more activity. Yeah, you know I mean, you're out there with more people. Oh, that's cool. Quieter. See, now, Mike, now you'll be proud. Now, I'm gonna embarrass myself. I went out <laughs> in the woods naked. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't take any heaters <laughs> with, with his mama. With his mother. I'm, I'm, not sure his be, I'm not sure I'd be. I'm not sure I'd be proud of that or not. But yeah. <laughs> so, when, so that that is our code word we use in law enforcement. But you know, you know what a heater is, right? Yeah. Sidearm. Would it, okay, good. I didn't. I didn't have any heaters with me. I was proud. So that to me, I was naked. Yes. You were naked and cold. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> but uh, that was hard. That was I, hard. I was. I was. I was. I mean, I had everything laid out. I was like. I was like going commando style. Well, I guess that's the wrong term to use. But. Yeah. I, re <laughs> I remember the first one. time, the first time, the first time I saw a tree structure, I was with my son. And this was, this was before, uh, this was before the footprints. This would have been May of 2019, before the December 2019 footprints. We were together. We saw a tree structure. I said, look at that. Look at that. I said, I got to go in and take a closer look at that. And my son unholsters his pistol and gets it ready to go. He says, I'm going in with you. I said, put that thing away. <laughs> he said, no, I'm not putting it away. <laughs> no, that's funny. That's funny. But I, I thought about you, though, when I, when I had him laid out, Mike, I really did. And I was like, what? I, and this is what I thought. I was like, what would Mike do? And I looked at him. <laughs> and I was like, nah, I'm not going to. Well, was I nervous? Like the guy, I was and, nervous. I'm not going to lie to you. Right. Oh, hey, don't get me wrong. I, I get I, I get more nervous before, but I get nervous sometimes too. And I'm like, but the thing is, the thing is, it's like the guy I talked to today, and I'm just get scratching the surface on this new story. When he lowered the gun, the nine-foot Sasquatch calmed down. Yeah, wow. When he lowered the gun. And I told him, I said, that tells you two things. Number one, you had enough sense or intuition to go ahead and lower the gun at that point. Mm -hmm. And number two, he knew what you were doing. Mm -hmm. You know, right. And, and, and so, so you want to get that plug my stuff, understanding Bigfoot, that understanding part of <laughs> the Bigfoot yeah. knew what you were doing. He saw it being low. Okay. He now poses no danger to me. I'm going to calm down. Yeah, if he scares the hell out of him yeah. enough, he'll, he'll, he'll pretty much well, give he him said, a, enough yeah, warning, yeah, right? He also, he also said at the same time he had pee running down his leg. But the, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> he's goes, like, he says, but I you, realized, you fire at that, he knew, he knew right then. He's like, if I fire this, I'm going to die, I, probably. I realized yeah. I'm not going to outgun it. Right. So mm -hmm. he says, so I well, lowered I, the gun. It calmed down. Wow, My crazy. gosh. I'll, I'll tell you this much, and and I won't quote him because I can't remember his exact words, but Val won't go back in the woods after his experience because it scared him that bad when he well, saw yeah. both of I, his. Wow. I've had because people say that over and over again. Val, I had a guy. Said, Val said when it looked at him, it looked at him like, Number one, what are you doing here? And it looked at his gun. And Val knew that if he would have made a, a movement, it was over. 
and he told his buddy, we need to leave. And his buddy was like, why? And he was like, we need to go now. And he, ever since then, he's never been back in the woods. Wow. So that happens a lot. I had, I had a guy contact head. me. I had a guy contact me uh, not too long ago. And he, and he was telling me about his experience. For, he's about my age. He's about his experience 40 years ago. Southeast Missouri woods. And traumatized him. He hadn't been back in the woods since then. He somehow caught my, caught the show Understanding Bigfoot and called our Facebook group. And he lives up in Metro St. Louis now. And he said, will you go with me if I go back to that place? He's, he's had, because I've had nightmares for 40 years. I hadn't been back in the woods in 40 years. Wow. wow. I said, I said, yeah. I said, I'll go back there with you. Wow. So. Wow. But yeah, you, yeah, you, wow. you, you we don't, we all, the four of us know stories like that mm-hmm. now from across the country. People like, mm-hmm. you know, you, you know, not everybody's a Lynn Gasper where they hold hands with him and pick yeah. berries with him. Yeah. You know? Right. So. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that when I was younger, before I actually knew people, you know, that, um, that have, have encounters, um, I always, was so mesmerized. And I think um, it assured me that they were real when you would get, like you said, these yeah. guys that were long-term, long-time fishermen, or, you know, they're in the military or whatever, you know, in the police force, why are they going to create this drama and make themselves, you know, hold themselves up for scrutiny that maybe the people are going to think they're crazy by making up a big, exactly. like I saw a big, but. yeah. Yeah. No, not. And, then, and so then to follow up with that hoax, they're going to be like, I'm not going to go now for the next, you know, the rest of my life, I'm going to stop hunting. I'm going to stop fishing. That doesn't make any sense. No. So I right. really feel like that's, yeah. You know, and, and my first, you know, you know, with me, it's been a gradual process. You know, I, I saw footprints, you know, then I went and saw more footprints. Then I, you know, it, it was a gradual process to where when I actually then all of a sudden laid eyes on one, it wasn't such a big shock. But the, um, yeah. but the, and that's kind of like you, Barb, when you, you, you saw the, with the, with the yeah. baby the other day, Yeah, it's been a year long process a, for you. Yes. If I would have seen that all, the first if you time. Would've, if you yeah. would have seen that the first day <laughs> nope. you moved into nope. the place, you would have been yep. selling it and getting out of there. Yep. You know, yep. You I lost like, your absolutely, absolutely <laughs> I'm not. Yep. So, I'm absolutely moving. not. Yep. Um, I mean, it's a shock when people don't even think that they exist or even have the notion that it could even be real. And then they encounter one. I mean, that's got to be like, that's like telling a kid something oh, yeah. doesn't exist. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and, and in reverse. So mm-hmm. it's it's pretty wild. I mean, it's, I, I'd be the same way as Mike. You know, I kind of work in my way and gradually. So if I do lay my eyes on one, then I won't be as shocked. But yeah, to, to stumble on one and you had no clue, I can imagine that would that would. It's one of those you. things up close. Oh my goodness, that, that would terrify the daylights out of yeah. you. So. Mike, it Mike, the whole world because like, what else exists now? You know. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my husband figured that it was eighty yards is what I was seeing the the thing at. Could you now, what, did, me what, did, what did your husband think about that when you told him that? Because he's he, kind of, you know, like you said, he's kind of staying yeah. out of the Bigfoot thing. Um, yeah, he, he's, I've shown him some pictures and, uh, there was one recently and I think you guys may have seen it. I don't know, but, um, it was after one of our shows, I think last week. And I was looking at, you know, stuff at, like you said, again, from looking at it on my cam, um, you know, my little phone and then putting it on a bigger right. screen and then I go out and put it on our the big the big TV screen, huge TV screen, and I'm like, oh my gosh! So I said to my husband, "What do you think about that?" And he's right. like, "That's that's like the most yeah. realistic thing that I I I mean, you know, unless there's people sitting over there with with masks on, that looks really real." Yeah, so that's yeah, it. people with masks on. I was gonna say, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. So, and it was, and you know what, and it was, and it was like, because I didn't actually see the face that day when I saw it, you know, I didn't see features. I just saw, you know, like the gray, but not features. But as I'm right. zooming in to that photo that I'm just talking about, I was like, oh my God, I don't know. If I want to see. Holy crap. I don't know if I want to see this, but yeah. 
I still got people commenting, uh, sending me private messages about your flashlight, how deflected, not hit on the dirt still. Well, uh, you know what? And I did this. I did um, an experiment this past week. And um, because this thing is it's bugging me what this thing is. So I decided that I'm going to go closer to it and with the with a flashlight and like walk up to it and shine the flashlight on it. So I'm walking up the driveway, shining it on it. And I hear this like noise in the woods, like just like a, you know, as if maybe some rustling. I'm like, calm down, Barbara. Ah. Get, don't get freaked out. So, <laughs> so then I, I get very close to it and it was like the woods exploded. It was like something was running, like, you know, like dinosaur, whatever. Like, I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm going in. Yeah. And that's, so I feel like that's really <laughs> weird that that. You know, right though, I, I don't know what that thing is. And now people are like, please don't go anywhere near that. And I don't know. Yeah. Like, I uh, I don't know. I just know. Know. Ray, might be loud... elementals or something weird like that. Yeah, I don't I know. Think, I, just... I think it's elementals. That, that's I, yeah. just, yeah. you know, I, I'm, I don't know for sure. I'm not an expert. No, yeah. I don't but... yeah, I, I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now there's so many people that say, um, you know, that, oh, well, dogmen and Bigfoot live together. I don't know. So then is, uh, you know, now uh, um, this woman that I would say is kind of like a cryptid expert in my in in my area. She said, oh, that's a lichen. And I said, what? Uh... And she said, oh, yeah, we have lichens. And I said, what? 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 I mean, what? And she said, like, no, no. Like, what, lichen? Yes. And she said, it's not like lichens don't, um, they're human and they have the ability to take this form when they want to. And she said, it's not like, oh, full moon. Now we're going to, you know, turn into a werewolf. No, they can turn it. They can change. So they're part human and part whatever else. And she said, they're much more, um, they're much more telepathic than a dog man. They're much more, um, human and, uh, there, it might communicate with you if you try to communicate with it. And I'm like, oh my God. I, I don't know. Calm now. down. Don't get eaten. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. But she was one of the ones that said, just be careful because, you know, you don't want to get too close. And I'm like, well, I walked through it. So I don't know yeah, how much right? you can get from that. <laughs> You're like, yeah. I live there. <laughs> yeah. And that, but I have to say, that bugs me. And I don't know what I don't, it because I really would like to know. What, but you know, there's some things you can't yeah, know every know, you know the that, answers but... to all the questions, right? Right, so. <laughs> yeah. Russell's it's like, yellow. Don't you, Barb, do not go near that thing again. Russell, he's your books, he's like, and don't take your dog near it. I'm like, Well, I won't take my dog near, but I might. <laughs> that like was weird about here. the dog, though, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Dog was like, doo, 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 doo. Yep, yeah. yep, like, no, no. They, they got yep. a sense that we don't, yep. <laughs> they know. It's so all yeah, like the electric was... field theory, right? Like, just right. like you said, Grizzly, we don't understand these things just because yep. we don't understand it doesn't mean it's not real. Mm -hmm. I mean, Kate yeah, I... probably grabbed an electric field. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. It's magical. Something's wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, 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 talk right. about, you talk about those dogs, Chris. And I remember the first time, this is you know, a few years ago, uh, we went to a spot where somebody had one of those scary Sasquatch encounters um, running out of a campsite. And we went to that spot the very day. I mean, you know, he got run out of four o'clock in the morning. That very day we went to that spot, you know, several hours later, I took my two labs with me because it's daytime, you know, the woods and everything took them, took them with me. They get out, they'll run, they'll go to the Creek. They'll go to the pond if it's available and we were close to the creek, and and they got a sniff because I saw the footprints where the where the Bigfoot was, and they're over there, and they started sniffing those footprints, and those two labs went straight to the car, straight to the car, let us back in the car. We don't want any. Let us back in, the, and they just whined and whined until I went and opened up the the, the back hatch and let them hop in. And it's like they have heard many stories like that. That yeah. happened to Mike Aguilar yeah. in our group. He, he had an encounter with one shake a tree at him, yeah. and his dog, after it, it yelled at him, the dog's like, Let me out of here. I mean, he's basically dragging Wait, him out of the way. Yeah. 
Yeah, he, he's leaving them. The dog oh. said, I'm out. See you. Yeah. Want no part of this. Wow. And, yeah, they know. You know, ours will sometimes he's fine, but yeah. then like uh I think it was yesterday or the day before going out. The dog has to go potty, you know, so I know and he's like excited to go out. He stopped dead on the porch and like nope, just turned around, went back inside. He's like, absolutely <laughs> not. It's broad daylight. Like, what is out there? But he smelled something. Yeah. Bizarre. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, no, he it, but and I I all also know people whose dogs go run with the Sasquatch. Yeah, they yeah. they'll, go, they'll go run out and play with it. I, I, I know people I, I get dogs reports of that too. Like yes, that. and they come yep. back. So you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes both ways. So. Yeah, we've heard uh, that story too, haven't we, Grizzly? Yes. Somebody's uh, dog went and played with one. <laughs> uh, my, I remember who it was. My luck, I'm going to meet the wrong one. It's on the period that's just got pissed <laughs> off at the world. Why, why is it going to be the female? <laughs> you know, why do you have so, to go there? <laughs> you know, I just, I, my, I, Grizz, I never... Grizz, if you run into, Grizz, if you run into the female, put me on speed dial for advice. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, he'll yeah. handle it. That's <laughs> well, you're talking about dying batteries earlier. Rebecca was saying, and hey, I'm oh. really angry when my batteries die too. And I'm like, oh, here, here we go. Oh, right and then I'm thinking, dead. Grizzly, I'm Thank God. <laughs> Last oh, week, wow. Oh, boy. I'm not even gonna. She drove into the ditch real early. I had to, like, you know, I'll, maybe I'll bring it up later. Yeah, I haven't paid my AAA <laughs> membership, I don't think. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. So. <laughs> They're probably going to cancel you after, you know? <laughs> yeah, after all right. That. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but now, you know, it, it's looking just Brian. people. Go ahead, Mike. I said, look at Brian's comment. I, you know, I had a dog run past me in an area that people came oh. looking for and saying it ran off in a bear and shook two trees at once. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, bears don't do that. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, it, everybody that's watching and listening, you know, just make sure, you know, if somebody tells you a story, listen to them. You know, don't don't shun them. Yep. You know, yep. if if, right. if you don't agree with it or, or think they're whatever, just just say how nice or something, you know, just right. lend them the air. That's all, mm -hmm. you know, right. please. We're suggesting right. to come to one of our pages and, and talk yeah. to us. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know. We're we're more accepting than some places, obviously. Yeah. Or oh, you can say, you, you, you yeah. think you you think you got it? I got it. I know a guy that's got some crap in his sweet low box. <laughs> Tell him that story. Yep. Uh, yeah. I, the, you, you the, that always... is the icing on the cake, ladies and <laughs> uh -huh. gentlemen. Uh -huh. Yep. So watch their you face share go. That story, yeah, anybody can true. share it. <laughs> right. Right. So I mean, I mean, every time I think somebody's gonna beat somebody or put a topper on a cake or somebody else, it just, just <laughs> smashes it. So that's great. <laughs> and now he, like it. It. he 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 owns it. I love the fact that he owns it. He he eats it up. It's funny. I yeah. never forget when his wife was like, "That was my wait a minute." Our, our <laughs> freezer, my freezer. Oh, poor thing. Oh God. <laughs> But honey, it's Mark. It's it's right here on the Grizzly. Um, I thought I was going to die. Video I just sent you. Play the video did, I just sent did you. Did you? Okay. Yeah. I, I thought I was going to yeah. die on the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. He's like, yeah. but honey. I was like, uh -oh. oh no, it's his wife. She doesn't know. Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> now she does. That, yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> But honey, it's Mark. Yeah. I've heard it coming out of the closet, but I've never heard it coming out of the freezer before. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I don't want to get it defrosted. It may smell. I thought I was going to die. I thought I was going to die right there on the air. Poor lady. Oh, my God. Oh. Evie, Evie, poor Evie. Oh, my side's hurting. Why do y'all torture me? Why do y'all torture me? Oh, all right. Let me share my screen. Oh, that, that hurts. I'm you sorry, Brian. Running. Sorry, Brian, but you're. I'm glad your surgery. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad when you get, when you get your surgery, you can at least laugh. You're not going to be in pain. I don't know what the hell you're going to do. 
<laughs> All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. In action. <laughs> It is so frustrating. See, it will not freaking stay on that thing when you, it's never had anything like this in my life happen. I mean, you can look at it. It's right there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, okay, well, now I got to go closer. <laughs> and I'm like talking I mean, to it. Don't I hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> she just walks up so, so casually. Yeah, now, now I it, hear the, it yeah. looks like it looks like the ears move. Yes, yes, I, they do. It's so weird. See it move? The ears move? Yes, yes it's like it moves away from. Oh, it's so bizarre. Like you can. The and then, and then I hear the crash. And I'm like, nope, bye. <laughs> I'm done. Like that flashlight does not hit that spot at all. No. So, no, that's what's so weird about it. <laughs> I've hit it, <laughs> but yeah, and then yeah. I yeah. <laughs> something you got a predator that's cloaked right there. <laughs> so weird, and you can see the outline though now. You know, look at that. But it goes right through it. It's, yeah, it's so weird. Yeah. Wow. I measured where it's laying and it's about, I think it's about seven and a half feet tall. Um, and then Tom Cantrell, I was talking to him and he, he agreed with that because of where I can, like, you can see the mark in the, um, where it has its arm rusting in the, it's like Vinca vine. You can literally see where it has its arm rusting and it's about, that was about 29 inches. So he said, yeah, he thought it was about seven and a half, eight feet. Like, oh my gosh. So weird <laughs> that smell. <laughs> yeah, and freaked me out there. The video still playing. I'm like, I'm hearing voices. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, my dolls are talking. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it did. Oh, god. That freaked me out there. Let me stop it for a minute. Okay, my heart dropped. I'm like, but I yeah, to share a little bit, a little bit of my adventure this past yeah. weekend. So I went out by myself and went to a one of our areas, and I went off to another area that's kind of off of one of our areas. And um, we've been here before, but this time I went out this area. It's almost like an old homestead. Um, so there's a raised area that's flat. That's long gone now. There's some evidence of some concrete at one point. Mm -hmm. But I found this spot that I thought was peculiar because everything, like all the grass surrounding is about four or five foot tall. I mean, it's actually pretty tall. And then there's just this dead area that I walked up on and it's all matted down. Um, all the, all the plants, like these are really tall, skinny weeds. There's a bunch of them crushed down all throughout. And then over here in this area, this, it looks like something really matted it all down. It's all dead. It was just odd. Then I'm walking around and I found some jaw bones, like a little kill site, like something ended up having a meal over here. Couldn't find any other evidence of anything else in there, but I thought that was really just strange. Almost like somebody went in there and sprayed it with Roundup, but there's nobody been back there. It's just yeah. way off the beaten path, so it's like it doesn't make sense. Yeah, and that is weird. That's bizarre. Little of mushrooms. Is that where you found that? Oh, I, I found this. I found this out there. That's which that's was pretty cool. pretty cool. Yes. All this leaned up. Yeah. This isn't even. Here's palm trees that were brought into it. It's all wheat woven together. Oh, that's obviously this, natural, right? <laughs> and I, yeah. I use one of Brian's <laughs> methods. I went out there and I yeah. clapped a couple times uh, really loud, and I ended up getting three tree knocks back. And oh, before okay, that, I heard I'm a gone. couple. I'm out. Yeah, I heard a, I heard a couple of hoots. There's a, there's a broken tree that was nothing around it to break it. And it's just at that, that perfect waist height, you know. We find those occasionally. This was uh, one of the weirdest oddities that I found in this last yeah. picture. This was the intestine. It's pretty small. This whole thing might be maybe six inches long, but it was like the innards 
of an animal. So sorry, guys and ladies or whoever might be offended, but it's got a little bit of hair to it. It's a little mammal, nothing else around it. And it was fresh. Yeah. Like I had seen one fly get to it. Yeah. What? It was like that morning. It, yeah, it didn't stink. It wasn't even there long yeah, enough. Yeah, it's not going to gonna smell take yet. Long in Florida, to, for but it to smell. yeah, there That's was no right. skeleton, no other torn so, apart animal yeah. parts around, and maybe the size of a squirrel or small possum or something like that. No, nah, that's not a squirrel. I'm I'm a squirrel yeah. hunter, ex squirrel hunter. I mean, it's got it's got kind of long hair, so that's why I was thinking possibly possum, like, but okay, just weird. I mean, what what would take out the insides of an animal, throw it on the ground, yeah, and then and take, take the rest of the animal? Off. Yeah, anybody? Yeah. Know? Uh, it was a really weird finding, man. Because I was like, I've never because normally there's a kill, it's just shredded apart, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Where you'll find skeletons and, and you know the bones and but yeah that was just a mike what, what could do that that's one of those questions mike what what could do that you start leaving yeah. those bigfoot bigfoot you, finds you, you, well, you, I mean? you like, start eliminating you start eliminating the you know you know what what animals do you know that are out there and this one didn't do it that one didn't do it this one didn't do it that one didn't do it then you, then you come into okay what about the possibility of bigfoot could he have done that yeah. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. yeah pretty crazy but yeah that's oh and the end the report back um i don't know those who watched the chili um one that pig that we'd found that i was pretty sure it was injured because even after we walked off it went and laid back down again which is really uncommon for a boar to yeah. just lay yeah. down so we found oh, it laying yeah. down we thought it was dead initially and when we got close enough it stood up and turned around oh, so God. we were scared to death because we're like you know it's nothing worse than a, an injured animal yeah. um a hog. Oh, you wow. know and then so we end up leaving it we end up going out a different entrance just to not go back in front of it uh, but we watched it from a distance and it laid back down so we expected it to be a kill there there was nothing Weird. So a week later, there's no carcass, no nothing. It was gone. So it may be a wandered mm -hmm. off, but I didn't see or smell anything in the area at all. Normally, something that big because it was a good size. I mean, the yeah, right. The cutters yeah, on that thing were it. probably at least four to five inches long. They were huge. Jeez. So wow. anyway, wow. that was my adventure that's for the weekend. Cool. That's yeah, that's some cool stuff. Wow. And then I, that like thing with the palms. That's you know how they did that. That's I mean, who? Else, what else would do that? It's just amazing, right? Really Wait, amazing. who's going to take the time to go out there and weave that stuff together? You know, and it, mm -hmm. it takes Why? time to do that. Yep, and, yep. Why would you do that? And probably not all done in one setting. So yeah, no, yeah. not likely. Looked like it'd been there for a little bit because the palm fronds are aged and starting to fall apart. But yeah, it was it was pretty cool. So Debbie in the comments, um, that's my friend from that. Um, we become friends from Illinois. I'm trying to put her thing up. There. Um, and she had her first, she heard her first wood knock uh, yesterday. And I think, it, I think it was yesterday, right, Debbie? My days are running together in the woods. And um, she's been getting some pretty good uh, photos too. Pretty interesting now this Debbie, is the one that lives. Debbie, what part of Illinois are you from? See if she'll answer me on that one. Yeah. That's that must be something else. <laughs> yeah, the the wood knocks I had, they were they were from a distance out. They were deep and something big was hitting. Wow. Yeah, it didn't sound like a baseball crack. It was almost like something thicker than that smacking. I don't know if it was a clap back or, or what it was, but wow. they, were, they were definitely loud. I mean, easy to hear. I was like, holy crap. I just got a response. <laughs> I'm like, thanks, Brian. <laughs> Is it no, I, I, I can tell don't you clap this, when I go out. ladies and gentlemen. So when I used to hunt and I would field dress a deer, Less than three hours, everything that would fill dress would be gone. Mm -hmm. And that's a deer. That's wow. bizarre. Yeah, so, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Right. Good night, Tom. Yeah. 
Yeah, but yeah, you, you got a out. lot of different scavenger animals that are going to eat that stuff up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, but they say, don't they say though that if it's a if it's something with Bigfoot that other animals are won't like touch afraid, it. they won't touch it. That's, so that's yeah. that, that's evidence in my gifting bucket. My gifting bucket yes. is evidence of that. Uh, where we put that stuff in there, and the possums, the coons don't touch that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And, yep. and Mike, uh, Mike Aguilera's so, got a picture yeah. of a deer that was basically peeled apart. All the all the deer skeleton, everything was all there. It was a little bit of flesh in it, not much though. Nothing touched it. Like no other animal came and ripped it apart. I mean, it's pretty. Oh, wow. it was fine. He's got a picture of it somewhere, but every time I ask him for it, he always either forgets or can't find it. Yeah. But I've seen it with my own eyes. He showed it to me. It's like look at that. I'm like, oh, you know that. Yeah. Right it was right near a blind area and some other stuff that he found, some footprints. Um, but yeah, it was literally like it was still intact. But he said there was just no other animal. He said he yes. was starting to smell. He thinks something would have drug it off by that point in time, but it was it was very odd. Because even well, any other animal big enough to kill something like that is gonna tear it to pieces. Mm -hmm. Well, not yeah. only that, they actually have body farms uh, where people donate uh, their bodies to science, and they take them out in the woods. And they have time-elapse cameras, and that's how they can tell how long a body it's been exposed to wow. elements. Uh, they also use different animal carcasses that has been uh, roadside killed, uh, struck by automobiles. And uh, they use time elapsed cameras as well, and they actually uh, stake them to the ground and use uh, wire, so other animals cannot drag the carcasses off. And shows how uh, Mother Earth, Mother Earth, and other insects and so forth devours the carcasses uh, in the time elapsed, yeah, and decom. Uh, and that's very interesting. If you, if ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have a weak stomach, you can go out on YouTube and, and, and watch that. Uh, I won't show it because it, it's yeah. pretty uh, horrific, Gnarly. but uh, yeah, uh, but it just gives you some credence on if Sasquatch or a cryptid, you know, did do that. Is it the scent off that creature that's keeping other animals away? Because, uh, from my knowledge, horse flies, buzzards, and all that don't discriminate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And then this so, goes back to the cattle mutilation. Remember when we were talking about it on that one show? The same thing happens. They get they get mutilated. The tongue gets removed, and some of the you know reproductive organs get removed. Sometimes specific organs get removed, and then nothing will touch the carcass. It'll just nothing. sit there. Right away, even, yeah. And then there's a one where I got pictures flies. where the flies were on it. The flies died. Yeah. Yeah. So is this in relation to it so somehow? Weird. Yeah. yeah. How, how does that happen? Like, and then they're cut open with like surgical precision. Like what? Yeah. Laser. Yeah. So Laser uh, Barb and Mike, you all missed this uh, show that we did. And then we'll wrap up. Uh, I grew up out in the country and, uh, the Bobby and his grandparents owned thousands of acres and he had a big farm and we saw a lot of lights when we camped on the farm. He had a lot of cattle and he had uh, ponds and so forth. And I told Chris, uh, I know people that I grew up with and they're still here that uh, are in the Bigfoot w world and so forth. And I reached out to the organization and I'm like, uh, do we have cattle mutilations? And the response was, yes, we oh, did wow. in our area. So, wow. yeah. And uh, that was very interesting because yes. I, the, Bobby and I, we saw stuff that we couldn't understand when it come to lights and so forth, right? In the sky. Yeah. and But uh, it was interesting because, you know, to, to have somebody that lived here, that's older than I am. It was like, oh yeah, it was like common knowledge, mm -hmm. you know, just yeah. like people that live with these creatures, you know, in in certain states and the mountains and the hollows. Yeah, they're here. Uh huh. 
you go to the gas station. So how's uh how's your Sasquatch family dude? Oh, they're doing good. They're just yeah. tearing the hell in my garden, you know, and <laughs> helping themselves. Blows your so. mind. I'm stealing my chicken eggs. Oh, my, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You so, know, it was probably a, a UFO dropping off a robot, Bigfoot, and, you know, mutilating cattle. Who knows what the heck is going on? Hey, guys, I'm going to check out. My wife just pulled in the yeah. driveway. I need to pull okay. we'll her in. <laughs> yeah. I'll so, see you guys. We'll call her night. Good night, Mike. And uh, round, night. The, round the world, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all have night, a good everybody. one, ladies and gentlemen. Good All night. Right, bye bye. Thanks for joining.